So we had Tyler Hero, D Wade, LeBron James, Bam Adebayo, and then the uh, guy they drafted a couple years ago, Alex Gardner, is getting the start over Alonzo Mourning. For the Bucks, you got Sidney Moncrief, Ray Allen, Oscar Robertson, Giannis, and Kareem. Oscar's probably going to be in for a night, right? LeBron's going to eat. He's going to get his. Um, I think you got to know that coming into it. But if you're the Bucks, you got to take advantage of the size that you have down low, and you got to just punish him. And then when they start to finally adjust, that's when you kick it to Sydney, to Ray Allen, because they're quick. They got quick releases, right? Um, but you, you're on the road. Miami Heat, both of these teams were, were playoff bound. They faced each other in the playoffs in the previous season, and the Bucks won the series. So you know that Miami's been looking forward to opening night at home facing the Bucks. You know, they, they've been preparing for this for a long, long time. They've had it marked on the calendars. Ooh, Ray Allen. Ooh, getting open off of a little screen there. He way with a with the assist there. He took a two, but yeah, yeah. If I'm here, yo, yeah, take Giannis on Bam all day. And, and have him stress him from deep. That's the thing. Can't get him in the block. Bam can, can probably guard him in the block. But when Giannis has to come out like that, and then you get to blow by him, Giannis has the low by speed for sure. What do we got here? Oh, LeBron. LeBron, he gonna eat. You look at him. He's just bullying. Just absolutely bullying Oscar Robertson. But that, and that's expected to happen. Oscar's a, really a point, right? We moved him to small forward because of his size and his play style. He's really more of a point forward, but he doesn't have what it, I mean, nobody really has what it takes to guard LeBron in this league consistently. So, you know he's gonna eat, but as the Bucks, you gotta... You gotta force it to be him. You know what I'm saying? You gotta don't can't try to close in on him. Or maybe switch even like this with Giannis on him, cause cause you know Oscar can guard other people. So maybe the switch is actually what they need. And now Yeah, now they're in a little trouble here. Look at Ray Allen open on the screen. That's a bucket. Ooh. So fresh and so clang, clang. All right, he's, he's getting sent to the line. Yeah, D-Wade, I mean, he's going to get his reps to the line. I think, yeah, if you're Miami Heat, right, you got Dwayne Wade, uh, LeBron, you know, Bam. Hey, throw some oops up there, man. Try to get yourself to the line. That's what I'm trying to do. LeBron, or oh, sorry, LeBron. D-Wade, two for two there at the line. As expected. Let me let me let me audio test. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, audio's coming through. Oh, and we got hold up. Wait a second. He... Hey, fader on the way. That shot go. misses. And Milwaukee will come the other right, way. See, I'm glad we did the audio test. Now you guys can actually hear the game. Abdul Jabbar. This is the Moncrief. Back to Abdul Jabbar. Almost. Yeah, there we go. Up. Okay. You're not going to see that very <laughs> often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he missed on that. Hero, no there good. We Got to go to the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an right. easy task. 8 5 right now. 
we'll see with the rotation. I think outside. this Miami Heat team is actually the deeper team. Because even though Kareem and Giannis are and big and they have that huge advantage down low, I don't think that they the have it passing forwards when they when they when the defense is focused on you that You're the heat, man. You got to take advantage of the depth you got. To find the and really, let LeBron eat, bro. LeBron should have this ball every time down up and down the court. Right here, and a kick. Oh, oh, but they... He didn't kick. Why didn't LeBron? That's LeBron's M.O. Oh, say, so, ooh, almost. If Tyler would have jumped, you know, he would have had him on that point. Good, good. Good, good, actually. Good call for a pump fake there. If he would have jumped, man, he'd have been sent to the next planet. You know? This is it to Wade. There's the pass to James. And of course, we are only watching the first quarter. Away, and, and so oh, Miami nice. again turning it over. Bella, Bella Dane, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Bella. Doing pretty Here's good. Here's Milwaukee now. Uh, <laughs> on an 11 how about line. yourself? Feeds to Allen. I'm stolen by Wade. Strong feeling. <laughs> this is going to be... It's gonna be one of two things. It's gonna happen here. Pass to Hero. Oh, oh, and his mouth. Oh, and a legitimate threat to connect. That lacks an ace of Hero. Close out. By Sidney Moncrief. You want all some love to hear it? Love to hear it. On a Wednesday. Monday. Oh, 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 fake, but, but, he, but he went the direction and he faked. Oh, oh, what a block. What a block. Oh, wow. He had it. He had it. And now Ray Allen free off the screen again. They're killing him on that play. Oh, wow. Do you play some other games as well? Oh, yeah, we play, we play 2K. We play Madden. We play... Uh, the Rainbow Six Siege, Halo, uh, Hero, Minecraft, uh, uh, <laughs> Rocket League, anything we want to play. Rocket Six. Cool. On the wing, James. We'll be playing here soon. Um, can I get a follow back? LeBron. Yes, you can. No good. You can get a follow, right a follow back to stay right that now. And really try to keep him out. I'm They're so bad at this <laughs> that... There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay. I should be following you back right now. It looks like you do art for people. Someone else also followed me that does art for people. I'm not going to lie. You know what? Here's the thing. I love my logo the way it is. And I love the branding the way it is. But it is... I did make it myself. And I made it... Um, I made it purposely have uh, the first one. A, a little bit of blur, like the orange and the letters. I made it purposely have a little bit of blur because I kind of wanted it to have like a neon glow effect. But to do that, I basically just kind of made it fuzzy, right? And so, um, so I, I like if I wanted to put my logo on something, like I was looking at doing merch. Whenever I'm like, you know, I'm dreaming big, right? Whenever we get to the point where we're doing merch, I can't actually do merch with the current logos because of the image is too blurred. Is there a way you can get me this, like this logo I have, right, with the, with the, with the, with the white, with the orange MF that kind of has that, the closeness together, like the M and the F are like fused together. I love it, just how it is. Could you get me that, but with more quality? And could, I, and could you also, is it possible, if there's anyone out there watching this, is it possible I could get multiple variations of that, right? A blue background with white lettering, a white background with, with red lettering, and a black background with orange lettering, whatever, right? Um, kind of like how my, my banner is. I would love something like that if I could get that with quality. Like, here's the thing as well. I made that logo such a, like an old, old device. And then I ended up selling the device, and I cleared the device, but I never actually imported the stuff over. So I don't actually even have the original image. Um, so, it, so yeah, yeah. A lot of the last couple of streams I've done, people have hit me up for logos, and I've said no, but because I would like my branding the way it is. But if it's possible for you to give me same logo, mornings checked in for the heat, but just with more quality, like like how it. 
when you when you see it how it's blurry you know kind of like like a little like the orange is kind of blurry if you can get me that but just like crisper with more quality that would be fantastic both shots good from the strike i was going for like a neon glow of the bucks leading by six but robertson passes and i'm and i'm going to pay for to, money's not well money is <laughs> don't get it twisted robertson money's outside. definitely an object but really don't have anything else to spend Milwaukee Other than my wife, but she doesn't watch this. She doesn't know I'm talking right about it, guys. She don't three. know. She's a book club right now. Okay. <laughs> my dog's tick too. <laughs> Some of my friends can't even pick her up. Some of the dogs in here with me. Here's what you love. Great touch on the 16. Ooh, I like that. A little post fade right there. But now we're gonna start seeing. Oh, Ray Allen. Oh, what the quick trigger. They are embarrassing. now look to establish the perimeter. They are embarrassing. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Hero finds way. Oh, they're going to let D-Wade. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got Oh, you definitely do have a mismatch there. Give it to Wade. Have him just abuse Ray Allen. And, and actually, if you do that, you probably get Ray on this some foul trouble, and you kind of take away the Bucks outside, right? So you're kind of doing yourself a favor on both ends of the floor if you attack him like that. Oh, 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 say, Robert in his mouth. Couldn't get it to go. Oh, wait, LeBron was subbed out as a Is he in foul trouble? How is LeBron in foul trouble? That was deep, deep. Kobe Brown, though, a solid backup for LeBron. Yeah, no. Oh, D Wade, man. LeBron off the floor might actually be a good thing for this point. I mean, he's team. Bucks got to call a timeout. Big room. Now I think we're going to see the full swap come in. So both teams making some changes here. How about your heat versus dance crew? Let's pick up another big hand. Winners. All right, so for the books, we got winners. Bob Damridge, I do believe. Uh, Marquise Johnson there. Marquez, however, Mar Marquez, Mar Marquez, Mar whatever. Um, I think you have uh, is he? I can't remember who's in there, but I know um, Cummings is in there. I can't remember who is at the shooting guard here. Oh, wow. Bam. Um. For the Heat, though, you have Alonzo Morning. Jimmy Butler's actually playing with four. And then you have, uh, ooh, Warren Richards. Uh, and then who else do you have? We actually, we actually do have. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Miami Heat have actually done. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, oh, they got uh, Tyron Cooper Dyke. This close in, he knows he's got the shot. Who is going to be promising point guard. Or maybe shoot guard, whatever bluff he is. Point guard, point guard. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Dishes the the I think his name's like Okan in, 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 in Munich court. or something. Maybe, no, 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 it's, uh, I think it's Lee Walker. Shoots off the step back. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Let's see what we got. Wow. Uh, There's 126 left some. here in the first quarter. Passes it to Johnson. Over Butler. A shot by Johnson, no good. The Heat trail by five. Twitter. Some X misses. Outside Butler. Twitch, baby. All right. Um. Morning with the screen. What do we got? 
Oh, what a dunk well, the pick and roll game by Jimmy Butler. Butler gets better every year. He has a better and better understanding. If you're watching this on YouTube, yes, you're daily. This is not live. This happened yesterday. Ooh. We are streaming everything on Twitch. Link is in the description. Right. Why go to Twitch? Why go to Twitch? You ask. Well, um, simple. You won't be a day late. You will get to see it with everyone else. Uh, <laughs> you know. But of course, all the short form content, all of the, the shorts that we get and all this stuff, it's still gonna be up on YouTube. And I get most of the people that watch my channel watch. So. Here's the screen. Oh, look at that. My, oh, I thought he hit that. I thought he nailed that one. By five. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock. And game. Oh, oh, in no time at all. he got that off the dribble and everything. Six. This guy can do so it's much. Gonna be the last, this has to be the last shot. That is that why his that's number gets this is just a one second difference between the shot clock and the game. So, if I'm in, yeah, I take it up. I call maybe a screen here. Since you're up on the six on the shot clock. Yeah, there you go. Come over. He, he's way too deep. Now Alonzo Morning, he's got to do this yet. And that's not going to go. And, they're going to go in down eight and somehow be up six by the end of it all. Um, let's see here. They made three points of it up in the second quarter. So still down, you know, five points at half. Uh, still down three points into the fourth. So this is a close game through and through until the fourth quarter came where, I mean, look at the, the free throw differential. That's really what killed him. And when you look at the total game, yeah, look at that. I mean, they they made 10 more free throws than the Bucks even attempted. So, I mean, that's that's huge, right? Forget The Bucks went 51% from three, killed them from outside. But that doesn't, and, and shot, it's not like they just did it on a low, like they should, 39 threes. They made 20 of them, okay? And a difference of eight three-pointers made. For the game, they absolutely killed them. But where the Heat was able to make it back up was in free throws, forcing the issue at the line. And also look at the rebounding differential. The extra possessions from offensive rebounds, securing and, and stopping extra possessions on the defensive rebounds. It doesn't matter that the Bucks got the slightly better passing game and that their bench did a slightly better job. Miami had more second chance points. They had more fast break points. I mean, you're talking about a six-point game. Eight of the points are fast break points. And probably, and probably as a result from free throws from getting fouled on the fast break. So, I mean, yeah, this is, you know, that that's where it all is right there. Let's take a look at the box scores here. Ray Allen had 21 on him, 15 in the first quarter. After that, he kind of fizzled. Uh, Giannis had 21 on him as well with three steals, two blocks, which is elite. Um, Sydney had 13 assists, which is very elite. Um, but then after that, I mean, everybody like, what is Kareem doing here? Three of 12, Kareem? You can't go three of 12, right? Kareem and Giannis are the blood, the heart, the soul of this team. You can't go three of 12, okay? And I'm not saying you can't just score nine points. Go three of five. Don't go three of 12. Kick it out. Do something, but don't shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're going to go 3-12. Uh, because, I mean, especially when you have guys off the bench going perfect 2-2 two of two and, like, Oscar having solid numbers, like, shooting percentages. Why aren't you kicking it to him? You know, he had multiple seals. He had a good game. I, I did have LeBron guarding him, so I get that. Um, but, I mean, everyone else had, had decent, you know, decent percentages, bro. And... And some decent stats. And then Kareem goes out and goes 3 of 12. You know, it's, it's, it's a rough one. And, and I could get on Marquis or Marcus or whatever, Johnson, for 5 of 11, but he went 4 of 6 from on the arc. You know, and then I almost guarantee you, look at the free throws, Kareem only went to the line once. You know, you when you are when you guys are the, the big guys and you're the, the, the enforcers down low, you got to be that. Right? If you're going to miss a shot, get fouled missing it. All right, but uh, LeBron being LeBron, 26 points, eight rebounds, which is elite in this league. Um, only the top like 20 rebounders in the league average eight or more rebounds a game. So to get eight, 
He's elite. Uh, six assists, four steals, which is crazy. Um, Tyler had 20 plus points. Um, Jimmy Butler had multiple steals. D Wade had 12 assists and only one turnover. Uh, Alex had two blocks, which is elite. Alonzo Morning had 11 rebounds. Bam had two steals and eight rebounds, which is both elite. So, yeah, just top to bottom, these guys were just, even if they weren't scoring points, they were doing everything else they needed to do. And that's, that's really what won them the game. And actually, I want to, I can probably guarantee you as well, like we talk about the free throws that were the big difference maker. Sure, LeBron had a killer stat line, didn't get to the free throw line not once. Tyler Hero, the <laughs> D Wade, Alonzo Morning, those were the three guys that had the big game. So, 